Welcome to this video. In this video I would like to talk about the most important transactions regarding SAP security and regarding authorizations. Because based on authorizations it is guaranteed that SAP users can only see, maybe change or delete data that he or she is allowed to do and because of that authorizations play a huge role within the SAP system and you can use an area menu to show very important transactions regarding authorizations and that is simply auth so a u t h when you are in the start menu and then you type in this id of the area menu then you hit the enter key then basically it will change to the info system regarding authorizations and then you have grouped very important yeah, info system transactions regarding authorizations. You can open these folders, have a look at them, and when you double click on one node, then basically you will jump into the transaction with the F3 key. You can jump back. If in your case just the description will show, then under extras and settings, there you can select the setting display technical names to also show the transaction codes at the beginning of this node. So basically, yeah, have a look and if you want to, you can also set the auth area menu as your start menu. So basically, after logging into the SAP system, then this area menu will show up. So you can do this on the system and then user profile and then user data, or you open up the transaction code SU3. And then in the defaults tab there, you can enter the auth start menu and then you save it. Then you have also saved the start menu um, when, when you log in or when you click this then basically this area menu will open up but of course there are just some info system authorizations not all of the uh, yeah, required transactions regarding SAP security are included so now we would like uh, also to, to have a look on very very important transactions not listed in this area menu but they are really important so especially the PFCG of course this is in my opinion one of the most important transactions regarding SAP security and authorizations because there you have the ability to maintain roles and there you can add authorization objects you can yeah, make any changes what you like to so for example we can have a look and to this then you can just yeah display it and then on authorizations there you have the ability to to dive into to have a look in more detail on this and so on really really important transaction then we have another transaction it's the pfcg mass felt transaction so yeah of course we've now seen the pfcg to maintain single roles and here you have the ability to maintain roles uh, yeah in mass mass maintenance very important then we move over to the su01 transaction of course this is the transaction regarding user maintenance there you can type in one user so for example my user then you can go into edit and then on the roles and profiles there you can yeah make any changes regarding this user and of course uh, you have high functionalities within this transaction you can also use the SU01D transaction to just open the user maintenance in display mode so there you can just just yeah display all the information of a user and if you would like to make any changes in mass then you can open up the SU10 transaction so there you can yeah um, make any changes in mass regarding SAP user then we have a transaction is the SCU02 transaction that is a, an old transaction that should not uh, be used anymore you should rather use the PSG but sometimes it could be useful also to open up this transaction then you have the SCU03 transaction code there you can edit authorizations and profiles 
um, yeah, might also be useful. Then here we have a transaction code, the SUIM. And honestly, I think this is also one of the most important transactions regarding SAP security in general, because here you basically uh, have grouped um, very, very important ABAP reports regarding SAP security. For example, there you can select users with critical authorizations. You can select single roles. You can select profiles, authorizations, authorization objects, and so on. I think yeah, every um, SAP users who work in SAP security area should definitely know this transaction and should definitely yeah, be, be aware about the, the functionality, about the possibilities that this transaction offers. Then we move over to the PFUD transactions. So this is basically an important transactions to compare user assignments. Yeah, quite useful. Then if you want to trace your users, you can open up the ST01 transaction. Yeah, you can yeah you can make a system trace and then we move over to a very very important transaction is the SU53 transaction code. And once you open up this transaction, so basically here I don't have any missing authorizations but if a user reports that he or she can't access a transaction, an executed transaction can access data or whatever then basically here in this transaction all the missing, all the authorization uh, fails are listed and then they basically yeah, make a screenshot, send it to the SAP basis or SAP security department and then they, if of course allowed, can enhance the authorizations. Really, really important and really, really nice transaction. And of course, compared to this one, you can also open up the SU56 transaction. This is basically a transaction to display the authorization in buffer to see what kind of authorizations the user currently has really really nice and important then you can open up the SUCU transaction um, to to yeah okay this is not maintained right now but you can also open up the SE54 transaction code yeah to um, to open up the table maintenance for this view view underscore DDAT then if you want to, you can open up the SU24 transaction code to maintain authorization default values. You should be aware and you should be uh, yeah, uh, careful with this transaction. There are some um, failures can happen and that you can resolve them afterwards, of course. Um, yeah, this is also a nice transaction. Then if you want to, you can open up the SU22 transaction to maintain the authorization default values, provide by SAP and then there is the SUPC transaction to uh, mass generation of profiles also quite useful then there is the transaction RSEC admin transaction yeah there you can yeah analyze uh, also authorizations so yeah this is also a really nice transaction with high functionalities then there is the transaction OMET. There you can yeah uh, change the view for function authorizations, basically in the SAP MM area, but also important regarding authorizations. Then we have the OOSB transaction. And there you have basically yeah you can change the user authorizations um, for uh, yeah, different uh, as a default uh, SAP users. And then there is the RSCS auth transaction to define or restore authorization groups. Um, uh, yeah, really, really function a uh, transaction with nice capabilities. Then, uh, yeah, there are a couple of more transactions. Uh, I think I could could talk a little uh, or longer. Yeah, and as mentioned, we go to the start menu. Keep in mind to use the area menu off to get a list and, and a tree structure of very important transactions. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button, add a comment if there are any questions left. And please do not forget to subscribe this YouTube channel to never miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and then see you in the next video.